We can upload both Flash InPage and Image Creatives into our campaign using the Creatives tab. First, let's look at trafficking Flash InPage Creatives. We'll leave the Creative Name field blank, since it will be auto-populated by the name of the file we upload. DFA requires us to upload two files to traffic a Flash in-page creative, a Flash file and a backup GIF or JPEG file for users who can't view Flash in their browsers. We'll upload the Swift and GIF files one at a time by clicking Browse, navigating to the folder that contains the creative, selecting the file we want, and clicking Upload. We'll repeat these same steps for the GIF file. Once our files are displayed under the Swift files and images sections respectively, we can click Save. To traffic an image creative, we'll click on Add Creative and select Image. We'll again leave Creative Name blank and scroll down to click the Browse button. We'll navigate to the folder that contains the creative, select the file we want, and click Upload. <laughs> Once the creative has uploaded, we just need to click save. We can speed up this process by zipping up multiple flash and image creatives and uploading them to DFA using batch upload. First, we'll locate our zip file, which DFA will unpack. For any Swift files, we'll need to select the appropriate backup image from the drop-down menu. DFA does not automatically pair the correct backup image with its Swift, even if they're named similarly. Sometimes you'll see a number of file names with the strike through, which you can ignore. Most of the time, this occurs because DFA is viewing Mac copies of the creatives, rather than the creatives themselves. Once all the backups match their Swifts, we can click Complete Batch Upload. It may take a couple of seconds for DFA to complete the upload, so we can scroll to the top to monitor the progress wheel. Once the upload is complete, we can click back into the Creatives tab by clicking on the Creatives link above. Lastly, if we had any creatives used in previous campaigns that we wanted to repurpose for this campaign, we'd click Advertiser Level Creative. Here, we can see our advertiser has used their branded logo creatives in past campaigns. Because it's already in the system, we don't need to upload it again. Instead, we'll click Advertiser Level Creative and select the three sizes of the branded logo we're running in this campaign. Once we've found those three creatives and selected them, all we need to do is click Save to add them to this campaign.